Where do you stand on the issue of, you know, releasing Namdi Kanu? Because you have said from the beginning, if I followed you closely, that how the government went about it is how we've gotten to where we are today. What would have been the better way of dealing with this issue for it not to turn out the way it has turned out today? The issue of uh, Biafra education is a political problem. And it also requires a political solution. I can assure you, I can bring my, hit my chest and stand for it, that once Nandekalo is released unconditionally, the tension in the South is to go down. I'm not saying that there won't be a problem in the South East anymore. But at least the tension will go down. So I agree that government, I also believe that uh, the new government of uh, President Abola uh, Tinubu should have capitalized, you know, because of this crisis, capitalized on the opportunity by granting uh, Amnesty, or if you are not granted amnesty, get this person released while negotiations are initiated. They have to, there has to be negotiation from both sides, mm. including the Igbo leaders, you know, get them involved, the governors of the Southeast, to have an undertaking to control, at least to some extent, moderate the activities of uh, the uh, Biafran uh, agitation. Mm -hmm. One thing the government has also done, which I think would douse the the problem somehow, but not completely because of <coughs> excuse me. What means um, detention of uh, Kano is the appointment of uh, a South Easterner as the head of the chief of the naval staff. To that extent, you know that kind of uh, appointment brings some uh, integration. Mm -hmm. But if you want to look at the ministerial appointment, other geopolitical zones have not less than five. But Southeast has only five. That means you have one for each state. These mm -hmm. are issues that uh, uh, generate uh, problems. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm not a political, I'm not a politician. I'm not a political politician. But you discover that some of the actions of our politicians also uh, result in this, some of the security challenges we are facing in the country. Mm. So I believe that um, there should be a dialogue, you know, to see how this matter is resolved. Because where there's no peace, there won't be any meaningful development. Mm -hmm.